Hello everybody, this is Jen from the Hungry JPEG. What I'm going to do today is I am going to show you how to install a font from a zipped file that we get all of our wonderful font bundles in into Shortcuts a lot. I am using Shortcuts a lot for the regular version. This um, install will work on Shortcuts a lot 3 and Shortcuts a lot 4 and 4 Pro. If you have Shortcuts a lot 2, you will need to um, buy the upgrade so that you can have access to all of the PUA coded fonts. Um, in other words, to get all of the really fancy pretty curls and swirls that come on the end of them. Um, just because there are no further upgrades available for Shortcuts a lot too. And the glyph panel, they, they just don't show up, okay? Um, so if you have two, that's what you'll need to do. You'll still be able to retain your copy of Shortcuts a lot too. Um, and as you see here, what you'll do is you'll do up your design, come up here to the File tab, go to Send to, and click on Shortcuts a lot too. So you'll still be able to use it with your Cricut. All right? Okay, so here is the window. What you want to do to unzip it is you want to get into your folder structure to wherever you save your Hungry JPEG bundles at. Okay? So, I save mine right here in the Hungry JPEG file. So let's go in here and find one that I haven't unzipped yet, which I think I've unzipped all of them. It may not be a font, so we'll just find this one. What I did is I went in and I right-clicked on it, and that brings up the right-click option menu. Here is 7-Zip. 7-Zip is an extraction um, program that is installed in every Windows computer. So I click on it and I come over here to Extract to Wreaths, which means it will open up or unzip the file, extract the file to a folder with the exact same name, only it's open. Okay, so let's do that. And it will pull every single thing out. It'll still leave you with your zipped file here, but it'll also have an open file like up in here somewhere. Okay? So we'll let that work. And then we'll go find our file. Right there it is. Okay? So that's how unzipping works. Now, let's go to load a font. So first you'll want to bring up your library. Here. The library normally comes to you looking like this. You want to click on your fonts tab, okay? Then over here, this little box, click that and it says load font. Give that a click. Okay. So normally, oops, your system, whenever it comes up, will kind of look like this. Go in to your folder again where you have your hungry JPEG bundles and you're going to click on, um, one of the fonts okay right now I'm in the September bundle this is something that's really important so kind of pay attention here if you have a font that you want to permanently install in your cuts a lot you have to permanently install it on your computer system if you do not want to install it into your scale permanently don't install it onto your computer system, okay? Because sometimes when you install, when you install a lot of fonts in here, it really slows down shortcuts a lot, and it really makes it lag, okay? But that's just a little kind of tidbit of information. It is totally up to you what you do. Okay, we're going to go back here. Oops. And we're going to take a look at... A font that we're going to install permanently. Let's open this one. Okay, I'm going to double click on that one and permanently install it. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay, so I'm going to oops, highlight that one. I'm going to click install. So that's installing it onto my system. 
Now I'm going to double click it and that's permanently installing it into Shortcuts sure a lot. Okay. So let's do another one. This will be another permanent install. I highlighted it, clicking install into my system. Okay, now I'm, oops, I'm going to double click it and that installs it onto my computer. Okay, now we're going to do one where it's only going to be a temporary install into Shortcuts sure a lot. Okay. Oops. Okay, so this one is just a temporary install because I did not install it onto my computer system. So when I close out Shortcuts sure a lot, that is going to erase it from this list. Okay, so it's kind of like a one-time use only. So if you're going through and installing a lot of fonts, you probably want to install them onto your system. Because if you only go through and install them into here, when you exit out, they're all going to be erased. Okay, so you want to make sure if you're doing a lot of them and you want to keep them in here, that you install them onto your computer system. Okay? I hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can find us over at thehungryjpeg.com. All right, you guys, you have a great day.